I was born with HIV. My mum was diagnosed with it after my big brother was born, but it didn't put her off having more kids. Out of the four of us, I'm the only one to have been infected. I used to wonder why it was just me that got it and not them, but I don't really think about that kind of thing now. My attitude is, I've got it, I'll just get on with it. Mum waited until she felt I was old enough to understand a bit more before telling me. I didn't find out until I was 11. At primary school, I remember going for checkups every few months. One time, when I was about four or five, I came in late to school. All my classmates asked where I'd been, and I told them I was at the hospital for a checkup. They wanted to know what for. Their questions confused me, because until then, I just thought it was normal for everybody to go for checkups. That's when I started to wonder why it was different for me. Even the doctors and nurses at the hospital didn't explain it fully to me. They were very kind, but I never really understood what they were talking about. They just told me to take my medication. It wasn't real to me until I reached the age of 14 or 15, when we started talking about it in school. The sex education we had came as a package, with HIV thrown in. My classmates associated it with being gay. If I told them I had HIV, they would have called me gay. I hear people, even my own friends, treating it as a joke. I play along. I have to, because if everybody's laughing, I'm not going to be the only one that doesn't find it funny. I don't find it funny, but I have to protect myself. If I knew I wasn't going to be judged, I would probably come right out and say I had it. I'd like them to imagine for one minute just exactly what it's like to live with HIV. They'd never joke about it again. I would like my friends to tell me they would still be my mate. My family is really close because of HIV. Mum's taught us how to take care of ourselves. Everyone is there for everyone, even my grandparents. But they're from a generation that's scared to discuss these things. They want to wrap me up in cotton wool and not let me out the house. Taking the medication is the only impact it has on me on a daily basis. I used to take it in the mornings, but it always made me so sick that I'd feel really done for the day. So now I take it at nine o'clock. It means I have to go home every night, but I still go out afterwards and stay at a friend's house. I've not been in a serious long-term relationship yet. I want to be a wee bit older so I can have a deeper bond. It needs to be a slow process so I can build up trust. Because I would want to tell them, if you told a 16 or 17 year old you have HIV, they'd probably run a mile. I live with HIV, so I'm very aware of what could happen, and I would never put anyone else at risk. There's no excuse for unprotected sex. Condoms aren't hard to get. At my college, you can pick up as many as you like for free, so why wouldn't you? My health is pretty good. I'm healthier than some of my friends at the moment. I can go for a full game of football and come out fine at the end but half my friends would come out looking like they were having a heart attack. Having HIV as a teenager can make you feel quite lonely, but with the Waverly Care folk around you, everything is easier to overcome. I met one of my best mates there. He's also a teenager. When I first met him, I spoke to him on the phone every day. Just five minutes made all the difference. I'm sure that having HIV has made me a better person. I'm sympathetic to people who live with any illness. It makes me more understanding. I can't imagine what I would be like without it. Probably more reckless. One day, I hope I can stand up and say, I've got HIV. I'd love to be able to give people the courage to come out. It's real, people have got it. Not just gay people, but straight people too. People like me who are born with it. Right now, when it all seems to be one big joke, none of us can. HIV. It isn't going to go away if we ignore it. We all need to listen. What could you do to help?